CARICOM heads of government anticipate sign-off on the arrangements to facilitate the free and full movement of CARICOM nationals. That is what the Prime Minister of Barbados, Honorable Mia Motley, said. She went on to say that CARICOM nationals is one of the pillars of the CARICOM single market economy. She told representatives of the media that the community is on track to fulfill the mandate that heads of government gave at their historic 50th anniversary meeting in Trinidad and Tobago in July of 2023, and that full movement of CARICOM nationals should be in place by 31st March 2024. Honorable Mia Motley affirmed that there are two outstanding matters that must be resolved before the full free movement can be operationalized. These two policy issues were referred to the heads of settlement by the Intergovernmental Task Force on Free Movement. The task force supposedly met on 7 March and the community's Legal Affairs Committee signed off on the draft decisions the following day. At the time, she mentioned that the heads of government were to meet on 15 March with the hope that they can sign off in time for the deadline given by Trinidad of 31st March for the full freedom of movement of people. As you know, she said, people have the right to move now for six months without question. What we are talking about is removing the six-month constraint, but we equally have to understand what the minimum rights are that are guaranteed to our citizens when they move from one country to the other, and those are being resolved and settled now. The Bahamian government, however, has reiterated its position that the country will not be part of the free movement of people I'm not really sure what that is about, but this move that will allow CARICOM nationals to travel freely amongst CARICOM nations is a major move. And I know that a lot of people are excited about it, but people are excited about it for different reasons. The visionaries, the ones who are doing well already in the Caribbean, are going to make leaps once this process is finalized. Tribalism, individualism is going to be left behind. The Europeans, the Mongolians, they have been united before this and have been working together across national boundaries. They have the money and so they are able to leverage things a bit. But there is strength in unity. And I know this is leaps and bounds and beyond many people's vision and imaginations. But us like-minded Caribbean people, the ones who did not reject our ancestors, the ones who really care about the Africans of the Caribbean, we care about all people, but we notice that there's something uniquely wrong with what's happening in the Caribbean. The ones amongst us who can see the strategies that are being played on us. We need to start working together because the others are already planning. They are ready. They are setting up the momentum so that once the borders are opened, they can just flood the gates. But the common people, the African people of the Caribbean, many of us are too busy worrying about culture and entertainment. So, if you are one who care about us for real, even though our numbers are small, even though the way we think is unpopular, we need to start talking. Start having an impact on your circle around you. We don't even have to talk. Start talking to your children. Start talking to your friends, your neighbors. Inbox me. Let us have conversations and start working on these things. It's probably a trickle now, but with time, we can turn this into a flood. But we have to start now. We should not take this lightly, or else we're gonna give away the Caribbean. We're gonna hand it 
over to others. And as a result, your children, our children, will become guests in their own land, the land that our ancestors fought for. So let's get it together.